Last weekend, Western Illinois picked up its first win of the season thanks to the league's Offensive Player of the Week quarterback, Connor Sampson. He threw for a career-high 368 yards passing with three touchdowns in Western Illinois' 38-34 win over South Dakota. The yardage ranks 14th all-time in Western single-game records and also is the third highest in the Valley Football Conference this year. The Western win snapped a 10-game losing streak dating back to last season. One game last week involved two ranked MVFC teams, and the ninth-ranked Northern Iowa came away with a statement win by beating seventh-ranked Illinois State. Defensive back Omar Brown of UNI was a star as he had two interceptions, a tackle for a loss, and five tackles in the 27-10 UNI victory. His second interception, with 5.33 to play in the game, helped Northern Iowa close out the victory. Kobe Johnson of North Dakota State was electric in NDSU's 56-17 win at Youngstown State. He had 241 all-purpose yards and two touchdowns at Stambaugh Stadium. It was the fifth most all-purpose yards by an NDSU player in a Division I game. In his first game returning kickoffs, he had three for 138 yards, including a 94-yard touchdown that tied for the sixth longest in school history. D.J. Davis of Southern Illinois carried 22 times for 160 yards in Southern Illinois' 23-14 win over Indiana State. It was a season high for Davis and marked the 10th time in his last 18 games that the senior has recorded 100-plus yards rushing. He also became the only the third player in school history to surpass 5,000 yards of total offense. And wide receiver Kate Johnson of South Dakota State had a monster day for the Jacks in their win in Springfield. He caught five passes for 164 yards and averaged a 32.8 yards per reception with a touchdown as he moved into third place in South Dakota State history with his 27th career touchdown. For the Missouri Valley Football Conference, I'm Jim Powers. Have a great week. Week, everybody.